Alrighty, buddy. Here's the steps for the, uh, what's the project called? Repetition project. So just to get started, we're going to do an exercise for the square. Alright, now you're doing this with pencil and paper in your sketchbook. Everything is the same though. So, I do a vertical line going the same as the line next to it. Then I'm going to back up on that line a little bit, so I'm right about there. I'm going to take another line that goes horizontal. It's so parallel to the line below it right here. Right? Same way. Now I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'll do a vertical line. Back up a little bit. Do another horizontal line. Notice I stop. Now you can see how the shape in the middle is a square. So like the shape I started with. If the shape in the middle is different than the shape you started with, you didn't do something correctly. Also, notice that none of the lines went to any of the corners. I'll continue. I'll back up and go down. Back up a little bit. Go across. Back up. Back up. Back up. Down. Across. And it's the same process over and over, which is repetition. Oh, yeah. Back up, cross, back up, down. And you should start to make it look like going through a portal or looking down a well. Look at that. All right. That's the first one. Let's do another one. Next is a triangle. I'm going to start with the triangle. So this straight up and down line. So I'm going to start right here. Another line next to it. Back up a little bit. Go across. Now you might want to try to come out of that corner. Never come out of corners. So I'm going to back up a little bit on the line I just made and draw a parallel diagonal line, just like that. All right. Back up a little bit. I'm going to just go down to like what the square was. Back up a little bit. Go across. Again. Back up a little bit. Don't go to the corner. Back up a little bit on the line. Down. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. A little bit. Back up a little bit until I don't have any space. There's a triangle. Alright, next one. We're going to do a wonky shape. So I'll do... It's like a square, but now I'm going to make a smiley face line. Just like that. Now I'll start at the corner right here. Not the corner of the top. Back up a little bit. Cross, back up a little bit. I'm going to go up. Back up a little bit. Now this line's going to be the exact same line. The top one is a smiley face line. So we'll go like that. Okay, back up a little bit. Down. Back up a little bit. Across. Back up a little bit. Up. Back up. Smiley face line. Back up a little bit. Down. Back up a little bit. Across. Smiley face line. Back up a little bit. And that would be the end of that one. So, once you've completed those three, you feel pretty confident on um, what you're going to be doing. You're going to set up a page in your sketchbook. Which looks like this. I have a tic-tac-toe board in your sketchbook. Like that. Now, we're going to do one square at a time. So I have this square. I'm going to just randomly draw three lines going through this square. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with, like, the square and the triangle. Um, I'll just start with one of these lines. Okay, with that. Back up a little bit. i do the same line. Back up a little bit. I'm using the edge of the paper as my reference for this one. Back up a little bit. Curvy line. Back up a little bit. Same line. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. 
and I'll just keep going. A little bit, a little bit, and a little space. So now I'd move on to uh, another one of these shapes. I'll do this one. I'll start here, back up a little bit, back up a little bit, and back up a little bit, back up a little bit, a little bit. And right there at the end. So your goal is to do that with all of the nine squares. So back up a little bit. There we go. So each time I just back up a little bit on the line and I make it the same parallel line. This last one, and then I think he'll be good. All right, back up, down, back up, cross, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Another thing to notice is you never go over a line. There are no lines overlapping. And that's the first, first one. So you do the same thing for each one. You do some random lines. You can do a circle if you want. And then each individual shape, you do the process again. So when you're done, this full page should be filled. <laughs> 